Hi everyone, my name is Rebecca. I'm a young adult librarian for the Miami-Dade Public Library System, and I wanted to talk to you today about one of my favorite authors from the YA contemporary genre, Angie Thomas. Now the name might be familiar to a lot of you. In 2017, Angie Thomas made headlines when her first book, The Hate You Give, hit the New York Times bestseller list. It remained there for over 50 weeks and was adapted into a critically acclaimed film. The Hate You Give tells the story of Star Carter, a 16-year-old girl living in the fictional neighborhood of Garden Heights. When she becomes the sole witness of a shooting of childhood friend Khalil at the hands of a police officer, she must grapple with her grief, systemic injustice, the grief and response of her community, and the response of the people outside of her community. The Hate You Give explores issues of racial inequality, class, justice, and legacy all told through the eyes of a strong, insightful, but still very young protagonist. The book is also an intricate look at the love and influence of family. Star is her own person on a journey to find her voice, but she's lifted and encouraged by the strength and compassion of her mother, Lisa, by the philosophies and wisdom of her father, Maverick, and by the support and voices of her community and activists. Garden Heights is a neighborhood filled with many stories. And so, Angie Thomas's follow-up book, on the Come Up takes place in Garden Heights and this time features an up-and-coming teen rapper, Brie. In interviews and on her website, Angie Thomas has often mentioned how hip-hop was such an influential and substantial part of her life. Like her protagonist, Brie, Angie Thomas was also a rapper when she was a teen. The influence of hip-hop is evident, especially so in The Hate You Give. The philosophies and lyrics of Tupac Shakur are discussed by characters such as Maverick and Khalil, and they inspire the title of the book. On the Come Up names and discusses even more influential hip-hop musicians from both past and present. It's really a love letter to that whole world of music. Brie also navigates very complex issues of prejudice, economic hardship, and interpersonal struggles. But her story also showcases how important art is, and specifically what hip-hop means to her and what it can mean to audiences, fans, and the music industry as a whole. Now, personally, speaking as someone who struggles to write any kind of poetry and who has no musical skills whatsoever, some of my favorite passages from the book are Bree's compositions and performances. It's always pretty interesting when an artist, like Angie Thomas, writes from the perspective of another artist. It's a very personal look at the creative process and one I wasn't too familiar with. And side note, I actually have a signed copy of this book. A wonderful librarian from Mobile Library, aka my friend Adriana, met Angie Thomas at the last Miami Book Fair and got this for me. Now, as stated, On the Come Up is not a direct sequel to The Hate You Give, but they do take place in the same neighborhood, and some of the events from The Hate You Give are referenced in this book. Star and Brie are from the same community, and though some of their hardships and experiences overlap, their stories, choices, and personalities are unique. As a result, they each find their voices in their own unique way. So what's next for Angie Thomas? Well, we'll be returning to Garden Heights soon, but with someone else as a narrator, someone who is among my favorite of her characters. I've always heard it can be difficult to imagine your own parents in their youth. For a lot of us, we get so used to seeing them as these figures of authority that we can't really imagine them at such radically different points of their lives. In The Hate You Give, we hear about some of the history and choices of Star's father, Maverick, we get hints of how they influence his relationship with his family, his brother, his community, even his enemies. But we don't know his full story. Not yet. Concrete Rose, to be published in January 2021, is set 17 years before The Hate You Give and is told from the point of view of 17-year-old Maverick. Angie Thomas talked about how this book seeks to show Maverick's journey into adulthood, how he came to define what it means to be a man and to be a young father. One of the many themes of The Hate You Give is the importance of names. Maverick tells Star that he named her such because she was born during a particularly tumultuous time of his life. She was, in his own words, his light during all that darkness. It's a name so significant and so powerful that it comes to really illustrate her journey throughout her book. Maverick is, by definition, an independent-minded person, and hearing his lessons and his voice through the perspective of his daughter, can really make one come to love and respect him. So I can't wait to get to know Maverick through his own voice and through such a different time of his life. Of course, people change as they age. So I'm excited to see what changed for him, 
what he built for himself and what aspects of him remained and persevered through both time and struggle. So if you're looking for a book to read this summer, I recommend both The Hate You Give and On the Come Up. Both books are available for checkout with your library card as physical books, ebooks, and digital audiobooks. Check out www.mdpls.org, the MDPLS app, or our Libyan Overdrive, Access 360, and Hoopla apps to request the books. If you'd like to check out the movie adaptation of The Hate You Give, we have that available as well in DVD format. And as 2021 approaches, don't forget to keep an eye on our online catalog for Concrete Rose. Bye, everyone.